Welcome to another episode of Healthy and Way Podcast, where we discuss health issues ranging from physical, mental, emotional, as well as current fast. Today, we're going to be talking about PCOS and what you may need to know. Please allow me to introduce my guest, Dr. Catherine Newey, and she's a naturopathic doctor. And, and if you've missed the last episode, she did describe what a naturopathic doctor is for us. However, um, before we go further, is there any, anything else you would like to add to your impressive resume or if you can give us a high level? <laughs> Yes, high level. So, I guess a high level brief summary of what a naturopathic doctor is. So, very briefly, a naturopathic doctor is trained as a primary health care provider, okay. meaning that we assess general health and we help you to prevent illness and to improve your health. Uh, we do this in a very holistic way, so looking at mind body connection, also uh, looking a lot at uh, diet, nutrition, and um, botanical medicine as treatments primarily. Okay, thank you for that. And for a lot of people who may not know what PCOS is, so can you give us, what is PCOS? Like, that's what we're gonna be discussing today. And I felt like the reason why I asked you to join is because I've had clients, and I've heard, I've seen on social media about PCOS, and it's not talked about, but I, that's why I wanted to have this conversation today. So let me stop talking and have you explain what PCOS is, please. Yeah, PCOS is, is complicated in a way. It's evolved in the way that um, of our understanding from what it was first diagnosed with. Okay. So it is, it's a metabolic and endocrine condition that affects women. And what that okay. means is it, it impacts both um, our hormone system and also our, metab our metabolic system. So okay. it impacts your blood sugar levels, your ability to convert energy into, uh, sorry, food into energy. Okay. Um, it affects your blood lipid levels, so your fat levels in your blood, um, but it also impacts your sex hormones. So it impacts your testosterone levels. Really? Some women have higher levels, yeah. Okay. Um, as well as estrogen, progesterone, and other sex hormones that we don't talk about as much, but are in the mix as well. I, like, it's, um, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, please, please go ahead. I was gonna say that it, it, it can happen to anyone at any age. So it's, as long as you're able to reproduce, you can be affected by it. A lot of women don't know that they have this uh, until they hit maybe mid twenties to mid thirties when they're looking to have their first baby and they're having trouble um, conceiving. Really? Okay. So then I guess let's step back. You said, first thing you said to me was that that stood out for me is that you can happen at any age. So do you, do people like in their forties or fifties can have PCOS or it's just, they've had it for a long period of time and they just didn't know until their forties or fifties? Because of the complexity, you might not know. So as long as you're still having your period, you would be able to find out. Um, so women, some women have like irregular periods their whole life and they just okay. kind of figure that's normal for them. Okay. And so they never really look into it. And that may, in fact, be um, a sign that they have PCOS. So one of the key symptoms is having irregular periods or missing periods for periods of time or just not having your period at all. Okay. Um, do they look different? I'm sorry, like, like, do people with that PCOS, is there like, a, you know how certain other type of, like, I guess disease, or I'm not sure if it's a disease, please excuse my ignorance, but there's a certain trait. Is there a certain trait when people have PCOS? Not really. So okay. there are some uh, signs. So um, women with PCOS may have a tendency to be overweight. Okay. Um, they may have a tendency to, it's called hirsutism, meaning like um, hair growth and, and in areas that women don't normally get hair growth. So they- Like, like to, where? Cause you no, know, sorry, cause we, we grow hair. <laughs> it was everywhere that we had to shave off. <laughs> Yeah, so like uh, upper lip, okay. um, chin, chest, mm -hmm. abdomen, low back, uh, arms even. Sorry, excuse my face. Sorry, sorry. I just, I, I just, I just like. <laughs> just taking it in. I know. Yeah, it's, I know. Like when you tell it. Like, and it doesn't mean that everyone who maybe gets a little, you know, some women get a little. Uh, so she says that don't go, don't freak out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She's basically saying don't freak out. So you got a little hair, don't freak out. I think, okay, just to step back on a serious note. Um, there's different symptoms and it really depends on that person. So I, I think the first thing that we, I would say we suggest people and maybe use get tested. And what are some of the testing that they, that you would expect to be diagnosed with PCOS? Yeah. So uh, blood work is usually done and they're okay. going to test hormones. So like your testosterone levels usually elevated with women um, who have PCOS. Uh, they're going to test hormones. It's called uh, FSH, so your follicle stimulating hormone. 
Okay. And LH is your luteinizing hormone. And so they're um, involved in ovulation. And so what happens with women who have PCOS is that they're not um, ovulating every month. Really? And those two hormones signal. So follicle stimulating hormone signals for um, your uh, egg follicles to develop okay. through, the month, through the first half of your cycle. And luteinizing hormone is actually responsible for that release halfway through your cycle. They also play a role in impacting your estrogen levels. So uh, what normally happens is um, uh, follicle stimulating hormone uh, allows for um, estrogen to be produced or signals for estrogen to be produced. It doesn't make it. Um, and luteinizing hormone um, helps convert uh, testosterone to estrogen. Really? Uh, sorry. I might, I might be saying that wrong. Um, yeah, no, it does. <laughs> it's a lot of information. So, okay. I like, just it backwards. So, <laughs> FSH allows for your androgens to be uh, converted to estrogen. So, the testosterone to estrogen. And, um, and LH doesn't do that. So, LH it does basically kind of the opposite. And what happens is you're going to have a lot of uh, LH. Okay. And so you're going to have high testosterone as a result. You're going to have lower FSH and that you're going to have lower estrogen as a result. It sounds very complicated. Um, it I is think actually quite complicated. I'm like, I'm like, listen, I, I think, I think one of the reasons why I, I wanted like I this need a chart right now. I thought, <laughs> yes, <laughs> like right there. This is I, you. you are here. <laughs> no, I get it. And I think what we're trying to say to people is that it is something that you should take notice of if you have certain symptoms that you think it's normal, like irregular period, it's not normal. Like get tested, as she said, it is blood work. Um, I think a lot of people, what are, based on your experience in your, yeah, based on your experience, what are some of the myths, common myths that you hear about people that have PCOS or like, yeah, what are the myths? Because I don't really know that much and I'm, I, have to be, I have to be fair, I'm ignorant in respects to this type of. Yeah, no worries. I think some people think that um, like if they have PCOS and they don't want to get pregnant, that they don't need to worry about it. I'm sorry, excuse me. So, so based on what you're telling me, is people are out there having unprotected sex and thinking or not having birth control pills? <laughs> well, I think that some people might think that, um, that I meant more like PCOS is only a problem for you if uh, you okay. want to get pregnant. Um, so you need to address it because you want to get pregnant. Okay, sorry. But because there is um, a metabolic issue, meaning that there there is blood sugar um, issues and uh, lipid issues, so fats um, problems, you can actually be at risk for developing conditions such as diabetes or heart disease. Really? Later on. Yeah. So you know, it is something that you want to to look after and take and take note of. So I get. So I think what, in general, what I understood from you is that um, don't just assume that because you have PCOS that the only concern is not having kids. There's other issues, underlying issues that you need to really talk to your doctor about or any or a naturopathic doctor that can help you balance your hormones for future um, health and benefits. Because you, as you said earlier, some people may be a bit overweight or have um, problems with their digestive system. Stuff like that can be symptoms of this actual of PCOS, right? Yeah. Is that fair to say? Yes. Uh, then I guess in respects to what you do as a naturopathic doctor, um, how can you help somebody with PCOS? Well, I can help them, first of all, with diagnosis, so making sure that they're getting all the right testing. Sometimes um, PCOS, because it's so complicated, it might not get recognized right away as a condition. Really? Um, my okay. focus is on, on women's health, so I'm always kind of looking uh, oh. for that. So, yes, yeah, so that's one of the ways I can help, and, and with treatment as well. So helping um, in natural ways to help regulate blood sugar levels, um, which actually is a, a key uh, factor in helping to... Uh, blood sugar, okay. Mm -hmm. then, I, then what would you... Okay, I guess in respect to a conventional doctor, what differs in respect... Uh, I'm, sorry, what differs from you being able to diagnose than a conventional doctor? Is there a difference? I guess that's what I'm really asking. Um, so I can requisition like the lab work, the same lab work your medical doctor could. Um, okay. The only thing that difference is that they could do an ultrasound. I don't um, order okay. ultrasounds, and that's one way that they can diagnose some women with PCOS. Not all, which is why it's so complicated. <laughs> may have um, many uh, follicles on their ovaries, um, just because um, really? they're being yeah stimulated um, differently, and uh, so that is one way of diagnosing. But 
again, it's not going to be the case for everyone. Okay. So then that being said, we've, I've learned relatively a lot so far, and I know there's that we haven't even scratched the topic of the specific what PCOS is. I think for a lot of people, um, if they were interested in, you know, reaching out to you specifically for any questions on this topic, or maybe looking to maybe getting diagnosed or next steps, how can they reach you? Um, I'm sorry. I know that you've had, you're on social media or please. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Your information be on the bottom too. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, you can check out my website, drkathleenmurray.com. You can also find me on Instagram or Facebook at Dr. Kathleen Murray. Um, I, I think I'm on Twitter, but I don't think it's <laughs> don't, look, don't look for me on Twitter. But, um, yes, those are the best ways. You can send me a, an instant message, DM, whatever, uh, or an email, and I'll respond pretty quickly. And then I guess for a lot of people, like I, I did mention, like we just scratched the turf and the, the – the tip of what PCOS is, is just a generalization. I am, if you want more information, we're willing to have um, and Dr. Catherine Newey back again with some of your questions. Don't feel, feel free to email us or contact us. Um, I, and for the viewers and listeners that are, if we're, that are listening right now and um, we're watching as well, what separates you in respect to them reaching out to you than a conventional doctor or another naturopath doctor? Um, I really love what I do, and I really am passionate about educating women, so I always want to make sure that women understand what's going on with their bodies and so that they feel comfortable with the next steps. I, I always make sure that they understand that there's a plan that's in place that I'm taking you know, things step by step with them. So I don't throw, you know, the bus at them, a million supplements so that they're going to feel overwhelmed. I'm always there to make sure that I'm meeting people where they are and helping to guide them to their best selves. So that's what I'm really passionate about. And um, I, I, that's why I think people like come to oh, I like that. <laughs> okay. Um, so again, I, for the viewers and listeners, PCOS is a very complicated, is it a disease, right? I just want to make sure the disease or a sim or what would you call PCOS? I like to refer to it as a condition. A condition. Okay, thank you. So I prefer, again, I'm very, I'm not going to say that I'm well-versed in this topic. This is why I'm asking you to be on the phone. Sorry, not on the phone, on the, on the episode itself. So please understand, viewers and listeners, PCOS is more complicated than what this conversation is. It is a short conversation. We're more than willing to have it, her back again with more detailed questions. And if you, if you are interested and you wanted to get diagnosed or if you feel you are, please reach out to someone or reach out to Dr. Nuri, and she's here to assist. I, the reason why I wanted to have this topic is because I feel like it's not, well, I've, like advertised, but it's not well publicized. Like it's not, I don't, I hear about it, not but not, not talking about it. Yes. And as much as 10% of women can have this condition. So it's, and that's a lot. It's really common. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, again, I sincerely appreciate you coming on the show again. And I look forward me. to having you come back again on any topics. Hello. And it was a pleasure. <laughs> Have a good day, love. Thank you too. Okay. Bye. Thank you for joining us today on our weekly episode on Health Your Way podcast. Don't forget to subscribe, share with others, and please feel free to comment below and ask any questions on topics we've discussed as well as future topics you'd like to hear about. Have a happy and healthy week and be sure to tune in next week for the next episode on a Health Your Own Way podcast.